Rick, is it okay if I film this measurement of your cervical rotation for my class? Yes. Thank you. Um, so I have you on the floor so I can get to your head to do this measurement more appropriately. I don't have any surfaces in my house that are, otherwise I'd be too short to reach the top. So I'm gonna put my axis of rotation in the middle part of his head here, down through the axis of the spine. And I'm going to have the stationary arm lined up with the lateral border of his acromion. And then I'm gonna have him go ahead and rotate his head to the right while I feel for T1 and C7. Go ahead and move to the right, thank you. And stop right there, because that's when I start feeling T1 move. And then I'm going to line up the moving arm with parallel with his nose. And the measurement I'm getting is 52 degrees. The normal range is 60 degrees. 